Good morning. This is just a really impromptu video. I'm not even dressed. I'm still <laughs> drinking my coffee. It's pretty early in the morning for me. I haven't started my process, but something just completely became apparent to me as I was discussing something with a fellow family member. It just came to me. So I'm just going to share this really quick. I'm going to try to keep it short. Lots of things are happening in the spirit. Gaia is in labor. Mother Earth, she is sending us information. Father, the spirit, the spirit, uh, Father's spirit is moving. Christ is moving. Um, there's many things going on right now. Let me take this and turn it completely down so I don't, nobody hears anything. Um, and anyways, I'm sorry for this. It's somewhat convoluted, but I wanted to get this out right when it came to me. There's, and these, this information is for you and you will know who you are if it pertains to you. I, I have to say nothing. Many things are afoot right now. The uh, negatives or the archonic behavior, as soon as you get a handle on something right now, they're going to switch gears immediately and they're going to be moving into another place. Be prepared for this switch to be instantaneous, almost overlapping. So the moment that you get a handle on something spiritually, pick up your weapon of love and hold it because it's going to switch gears and there's going to be another avenue. That's one thing. The other thing is, as last night, I was struggling with some of my own personal emotional circumstances, which is always what happens. I thought it was truly my own because it fit my circumstances, my personal circumstances. And I went there and I, I went there with father. We governed it. We figured it out and I got it under control. And just speaking with someone right now, I realized father said very clearly to me, this is not about you once again. And I was relieved because it was overwhelming. And I'm glad it's not just about me because it was too much. And I was concerned in my spirit. How was I going to handle this? But this is not about just me. This is the family. This is something we're going through right now. Okay? All of you people, all of you family members, and you know who you are, that have this incredible passion, this incredible ability to connect to the, to the final dimension where we are at, the thing that we're trying to be completion, to bring to completion. Those of you who can connect to that and you feel it so passionately that you've moved your life, you've changed your life, you've, you've relocated, you've moved yourself into a place of complete raw abandon at this passion, it's a real thing. It's absolutely your ability to connect to what's happening in the spirit realm. But there's a problem. You have to keep control of that passion when it's in this meat suit because the meat suit can be overwhelmed by this connection that you have, and it can also be usurped by the, the archons, the negatives, in that sense that you let that overwhelming passion and connection consume you while you're here in this construct. There are different rules here. We have to play by them. Beloved family members who are engaging in these behaviors where you're just letting it go because the freedom is so beautiful. I totally understand it. I just experienced it myself in the last 72 hours. It's beautiful. It's intoxicating. It carries you away. We're able to connect to that because of who we are. But I recognized last night that I was slipping into a place that was becoming ego. It was becoming abandoned to the point where my flesh was abandoned in itself. And I was having uh, sensations in my body and ideas in my head and thoughts that were very archonic. And I was like, what is happening? Why is this happening? This is why it's happening. Get back into the center with Father. Remove yourself from everyone. Get back into that center. Create the equilibrium because this beautiful sensation that you're feeling and this freedom that you found to serve Father and to run into these directions that you have been called is intoxicating. The enemy knows this. That intoxication is being pushed and provided and even, you know, supported so that you could be once again trapped into another stupor that has to do with your meat suit. Ignore the sensations, even though they're pleasant and beautiful, that sense of freedom that makes you feel like you could fly off the planet. Ignore that. Go back with Father. Get your equilibrium back. Because even this beautiful ability to access the thread of this energy, the emotion that I talked about in my other video, even though it's extremely beautiful and so pleasant, guess what? If you're feeling it in your body, guess who has access to it? Straighten it out. Get your equilibrium back. Step out of that ego and release the desire to experience that feeling in such a fleshly way, even though I know, I know it's beautiful. I get it. But you are in flesh. It can be tricked. Get out of your flesh, loved ones. Resume your mission. Okay, that's all I got. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you really soon. God bless you. Have a great day.